dear Tigran, uh, it's very nice to meet you at uh, World Forum for Democracy, especially because uh, the topic that we have is can use revitalize democracy. So uh, what do you think about this? And maybe you could tell some uh, examples of development of democracy in your country or youth participation, whatever you want. Uh, you know, democracy is defined as a universal value, and uh, but there is a lot of tools of uh, implementation of democracy. We accept democracy as a tool, but the first issue we must understand what kind of value is democracy in our double standard era. Uh, youth is the main uh, forming, influencing, energizing, uh, not tool but uh, spirit of the society. And I think uh, the energy of youth and experience of elder generation must be combined in order to get to the point that we need in our life, in our societies. Uh, what do you think about that? Thank you. Uh, if to speak about my country and uh, as the part of uh, European and Asian uh, sphere, uh, I, I think that the democracy uh, really is uh, something very new for us, and uh, if to look through the history, uh, we are just uh, developing democracy. If to speak about Russia, we are very new, and uh, now uh, we are uh, just establishing uh, the system of uh, our work, of the parliament, of the government, and uh, many processes still should be done, but we already have very good examples. And if to speak about young people, uh, I was involved in youth policy for many years. Uh, I started from the Students' Council, then I worked in NGOs, and now I represent the National Youth Council of Russia as a board member, as a vice uh, chairperson. But I'm also involved in many other different youth initiatives and forums. And um, every time I meet the problem that uh, uh, young people, when they become uh, a little bit elder, I mean, when they uh, have transitioned from childhood to youth life, uh, they always uh, have some kind of misunderstanding and they are a little bit lost in this life. They always say, we want to participate, uh, elder people, they don't listen to us. I was also like that uh, when I was uh, 14, when I was 12. But uh, then when I started uh, to think, how can I participate by myself in governmental processes, in, uh, in the life of my society, in the life of my country, uh, I understood that young persons should be active. First of all, and not an active only in talking and speaking, of course, it's very important also, but also in acting. So um, I think that uh, the problem is uh, that young people nowadays meet, that there, there are lots of possibilities for them to be heard. But the problem is that sometimes they have a block in their mind. We can't do. This is not possible. But I'm sure that it's possible. It, I have my personal example of my life. When I came to youth organization local level, then it was the regional level, then it was federal level, and now I work in the international level. But what I, what I see is very useful for young people is, uh, is the platforms of um, youth structures uh, in decision-making processes. What do I mean, for example, uh, youth chambers, youth councils, youth parliaments and uh, youth governments. And uh, I mean these structures not as just the model how the government is, but the real uh, structure that uh, give uh, proposals 
for the government, they give proposals for uh, the parliament. And for example, during the past years, we developed this system. Now we have used governments and used parliaments in every region of uh, Russia. And also we have federal level of used parliaments. In some regions, used parliaments have the power even to distribute the budget, some percentage, about 10 percentage in Novosibirsk, for example, uh, they can uh, think how to use the budget for uh, any uh, other spheres of life of the society. So, and uh, there, there are many other good, uh, good examples like that. And in all this model, I think it's very useful to start with the childhood especially uh, maybe even from the uh, primary school, when uh, young people can understand from the very beginning um, how to act. For example, if you have a student, a primary student council, uh, you already can participate in decision-making processes. Uh, I really hope and do believe that uh, this structure can help young people when they become a little bit uh, older uh, to be more active and to understand how to use their energy, where to give their ideas and uh, where to come. Yes, and what do you think, Tikhan? <laughs> Maybe do you see some tools of uh, developing um, democratic processes and youth participation in the world, in your country? Uh, you know, uh, as I mentioned, democracy is a very unique value. And each country must define what is it for their society. Uh, about youth, I can say that uh, we need to raise qualified youth in order they can be the changers of the world by changing themselves, by being better. Uh, for example, we have uh, problems in our country. I represent Armenia, Serant Pan Armenia Youth Center. Uh, in our country, uh, but not only in our country, as uh, we have a lot of branches around the world, I see also in Russia that there is imitation of the processes. And that imitation uh, created for showing that uh, you are doing something, but nothing happened. Mm -hmm. And they call that democracy. Mm -hmm. Democracy not is imitation. Uh, you, can, you can raise your talents, mm -hmm. and the talents will influence on the development of your country. Mm -hmm. And not only your country or promotion uh, the brand of your country, the promotion of youth in the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is one thing that Mahatma Gandhi told, if you want to change the world, be that change. Uh, you know, you mentioned a uh, lot of structures, state structures. But I think the dialogue between young generation and elder generation must start before you enter in the state bodies or state structures because they must uh, be sure mm -hmm. that you have appropriate level mm -hmm. to discuss that problems, that issues. Mm -hmm. Also we must be sure that our government has that level mm -hmm. in order we can cooperate in the same level. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, uh, you can just uh, uh, go through and forward and mm -hmm. create the future. Yeah. But um, what do I see? Of course, uh, I can uh, understand and I see that sometimes governmental structures, I would say, play with young people. They just create some structures that uh, they can 
always say, okay, we have this, please go there Just and participate. Me. Yeah, but for example, um, in, uh, in my examples, uh, of course, even in youth parliaments, you can sometimes meet the person, I don't know, who is the son of somebody, that's, one, that's why he entered somehow, I don't know how, but this youth parliament. But uh, what I can see that, uh, for example, between my colleagues and uh, my, uh, my friends, I'm the member of uh, inter-parliamentary, uh, uh, youth inter-parliamentary assembly of Commonwealth of Independent States. Uh, for example, when I came there, I uh, realized that uh, uh, to, to work there, I, I was elected by uh, my uh, youth organization, National Youth Council of Russia, there. I, I realized that uh, to be active there, I also need some knowledge. What kind of knowledge? Uh, about the legislative system, not only uh, of my country, but also the legislative system of other countries. Uh, I realize that uh, I, have, uh, I need some knowledge about the uh, youth uh, policy and youth structures also in other countries in order if we want to implement some law that can uh, work in all the area, in all the countries that we have. And what we can do in this uh, parliament, we can uh, uh, develop, um, I, I, I don't know how to translate it better, the model, the model of uh, international law or model, model law, it, it's called model law. For example, we uh, established uh, the law on youth policy in uh, CIS countries, even in, uh, not in every country it exists. Uh, now we work on the establishment of uh, the law about uh, uh, volunteer programs and uh, another one uh, project that we work on uh, about young entrepreneurs, uh, how uh, in legislative system uh, to make this work. Because, for example, Council of Europe, one of the value of the Council of Europe is not uh, democracy, human rights and the rule of law. I strongly believe in the rule of law and uh, I think uh, if we speak about many initiatives but uh, if we don't have good, ro good uh, rule, uh, uh, good law that can rule the processes, we won't, we won't be able to develop the society because next day, I don't know, will come other youth generation that they, they will say that we want this and then that they want this and they will have uh, no connections uh, with the history and with the, with the past. So, I mean, uh, the lore, of course, it should be also developing, but it can also provide you uh, connections and stability. Uh. Mm. Do you know that uh, there is two methods mm -hmm. of involving engagement and influencing, inductive and deductive, from mm -hmm. local to international, from international mm -hmm. to local. Mm -hmm. But anyway, you must have uh, a team, mm -hmm. uh, you must have followers as a leader, mm -hmm. and that followers must be qualified. Youth also must uh, must have a level mm -hmm. of education. For example, uh, you are going to make a law and you don't have influence or power. Mm -hmm. You can uh, start cooperation in regional, international level mm -hmm. and use, raise there your influence and use that influence in your local level, mm -hmm. in your national level. You know, it's uh, two side, two road uh, mechanism mm -hmm. that you can use for not only creation law, uh, laws is important, but uh, you know, to organize your activity. Mm -hmm. If you are not active, if you are not organize events, if you are not uh, make changes mm -hmm. in the world, in the region, in the country. So your organization uh, will be ruined mm -hmm. with uh, not doing something. Mm -hmm. But it's not mean that you must do something for doing something, mm -hmm. not for take.
but for value, for idea. Mm -hmm. And going to the idea, mm -hmm. you must pass to the objectives. You mm -hmm. must push, put the co correct, direct, straight objectives mm -hmm. and go to your dream. That dream can be democracy. That, uh, that dream can be another thing in another uh, part of the world. Mm -hmm. It's up to us how we, uh, how we feel the world. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, I also strongly believe that uh, when young people are ready to take responsibility for their life, for their families, for their friends, for also for their education and their development in life, our life will become better. And this is something that, that we should uh, tell young people, uh, very young people, that they should be active and they should be responsible. Yeah, uh, I will uh, put for some time philosophical uh, way and we'll speak about structural more. Uh, our organization is pan-Armenian, uh, as it's known in the world, the, we have a big diaspora mm -hmm. and we are examining uh, the situation in a lot of countries and we have youth branches and uh, you know there is difference uh, between cooperation, for example, our branches in USA cooperation with UN, our branches with Council of Europe and the European Union, mm -hmm. and cooperation with Russia and cooperation with uh, Asian mm -hmm. part, with China, Japan, etc., etc. countries. But uh, if you take one aim and present to others your position, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, if you if you different places uh, present different positions, it will be looks like minefield. Mm -hmm. You must uh, go and uh, will be uh, damaged by your own mind. Mm -hmm. But if you put one aim, you are going to be accepted because uh, we are all. Uh, equal but we are all different we are not uh, like similar mm -hmm. we present different nations but we are all uh, we can say uh, people of the world earth mm -hmm. yes we are youth of the world and we must be the change we want to see in the world and i, I do hope that this dialogue that we have at this world forum for democracy can help us a lot to develop democratic processes. Yes, I think so. It's a great step yes. towards that. Thank you very much for your conversation. Thank you too, Lukiana. Yes. <laughs>